they're going to get, okay, I would love to send you my free ebook. What's your email? And then you get people's emails. Huh? Isn't that cool? Then they get an email. After I get their email, then they get the free ebook. <laughs> okay? So this is what you can do on a massive level if you're talking to networking. Imagine going to a network and say, hey, I got a free ebook. It's about online marketing. It just takes viral to 588. I can get a straight, right? 5888. <laughs> I, I always switch them. Certain numbers I switch all the time. <laughs> So that's a great example of a text marketing campaign. And it's the same thing with emails. Now, here is the key, and write this down. You have to maintain communication and deliver great value within a two-week frame. So what I want you to do is always think, OK, I'm getting their name and email. What's the next step? I'm going to send them a double opt-in email to confirm. OK, I'm going to have to create a thank you page to tell them to double opt-in. Or if it's a single opt-in, you know, they just gave their email. Right? What's the next step on day two or three? You're going to assume they read the book. And you can just send a short email saying, hey, you know what? I just was following up. What do you think about the book? You know? Go to our Facebook page and tell us what you think. Ah, guess what? Go to your Facebook page. Right? And then what's going to happen on page on, on day five? I usually try to do it every other day so people don't get tired. But I'm always delivering content. So what's going to happen on day five? Well, I'm going to give them another tip about social media online marketing. Uh, it could be about real estate. Let's say, uh, say you, what's your name? Bob. Bob, what do you do? What's uh, that you do? I do maintenance repair. I do I'm getting into real estate. Okay, so maintenance and repair, that's a great topic, right? So he has his website, he gets the leads, and then he's going to give the best 10 maintenance tips for your home. Credit repair. Credit repair. Well, same thing. You know, what are the, be the best, the 10 best benefits about credit repair? And how can you achieve it? You're not going to tell them what you do, but you're going to tell them why they should do it. You're not going to get, you're not going to tell them what to do, but you're going to tell them what are the little tricks in your, in their house that they can do. You know, you position yourself as a great guy because you're telling them how to avoid your services, but at the same time, the moment something breaks down, guess who they're going to call? Bob is going to be on the top of the head. And if you have a sale, then you can say, hey, Crazy marks, 10% off on all our services. Or you can send another email after one or two months saying, have you checked this month this? Or rainy time is coming, rain time is coming. What do you have to do to prevent this, this, and this, and this? Right? That is tag along with your services. So that's how you start to develop your campaigns. But the first, the first week is crucial. Do a day one, a day three, a day five, a day seven email, and then a day 13, day 15, until you have covered all two weeks. But ma make all those emails to cover two weeks. That's very important. Okay, let's talk. I'm getting to social be, media. Uh, <laughs> are you going to be like contacting to hurry up. us now? Hmm? Will you be texting us now? Te no. No, <laughs> I mean, with a free ebook, I can't. No, I mean with our capturing our text. Our Not all phone. the time. I don't text all the time unless it's something very important. That that depends on each business. <laughs> and you can you can if you see on the text, what does it tell you? Stop, help. Right. help. Well, you have those options to always get out. But we should put that on there, right? Yeah, the it depends on the system that you use. That's our system. Our system integrates both for our clients. Okay, I'm getting lost and I need to get further up. Okay, so that, that's, that's initial account setup. Okay, so these are the accounts that you have to set, that you have to focus at the beginning, your Gmail account, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Okay, so after you have all the creative elements, focus on those ones. And those ones alone will keep you busy. Okay, <laughs> we spoke about the target site. I gave you a live demo. Okay, I go more in detail at the class. And the question is, is your business easy to find online? Right, you should always ask yourself that. Okay, like I said in the initial explanation, Google places Yahoo Local and Bing. Those are the search engine business listings where you should be. Okay, online directories. These are just some of the samples, and we go, we went through this at the very beginning. Now, the business description. This is very key. Each one of these online directories is going to ask you for something different. At the class, we'll go into detail about how to submit into Yahoo, uh, Google Places, Yahoo, and Bay in detail, like step by step by step. Okay. Now, the business descriptions that you're going to use for that and for any online directory, make sure that you did your keyword 
research we're going back. It's content creation. Make sure it's focused on your products and services. Make sure that it's focused on the content that you develop and that it has the keywords in it. At the class, I'm going to show you how to get your website and find out. They're a little hot here. You want to tell them if they want to turn on the AC? Are you guys hot? I'm going to open the door up. Uh, okay. Our noise out there is gone, so we'll get some <laughs> oh, airflow <okay>. in here. <laughs>
Well, now, you tell me, I say he's number one, but that's just my personal mm -hmm. opinion. I'm going to tell you why. I have a crazy perspective, people. Get used to it. You go on to Google and you search and you get what? Websites and? Video. Videos, right? You go to YouTube and you get what? Videos. Videos. Who's number one? <laughs> Everybody's going because you get on your phone and you can watch a video. You want to learn how to do something? You go there. You want to learn how? You, you want to get a review of a business? You go there if you if you find it. And every every phone is right now was more video accessible than even website accessible because not everybody is catching up, right? Not everybody has mobile websites, but you should have video. Like with 10 frequently asked questions, you put your name on it, and you just tell people, oh, go and Google me, they're going to find your videos, right? And they can be on your phone, seeing your videos and seeing your content, right? Because of the search engine optimization that he says. Like right now, we have a real estate investor that we're doing his campaign that he used to not use video, and we integrate a video. So we're doing, every time he sells a house, it's not pictures <coughs> anymore on the website, it's an embedded video. But we put that video on YouTube. We put the, the keywords, and now new people are seeing the videos that he didn't even know before. They know, and we put his name and email, because remember, you have to put a call to action on the videos, always. Put a call to action, it could be to go to your website, it could be to call you, it could be your name, it could, you know, call, call me and make sure you put your name and your email and your phone number. Send them to the website, tell them what to do. You know, it could be in this case for me, it takes a bio to 58885, right? Simple as that, but always, every time that you do a video, put a call to action at the end of it. All right, social media, yay! <laughs> okay, so social media, it's pretty much an integration of what we're seeing here right now. It's very simple and people get really complicated about it. All right, it's nothing else, nothing more, but to take the conversation online. Now the problem with social media is that there are many places to, to create that conversation. And your job is that you need to be in all those places. That's just the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you need to be everywhere. And the major ones is obviously Facebook. Facebook right now <coughs> has 800 million people. They're targeting for a billion people by May. Twitter has 100 million people as of right now. Active users. We're talking about active users. Right? I get all the time because my Twitter account is search engine optimized. You look for me, and people that I don't know are following me. Now, I, I did my account private, which is something that I need to touch base on this. Is your Twitter account, I suggest to, to privatize it. Because there are a lot of spammers out there that follow you, and it's these people that do porn. And we're all adults, so it's just the truth, okay? So if you, if you, do your, if you privatize your tweets, they have to tell you that, you that they want to follow you and you have to approve them. But once they're into your conversation, they get your updates. And that's pretty cool because it creates some kind of exclusivity as well. If you're an authority, well, you can choose who you're gonna, who's going to follow you or not, right? It has, it has a downsides because everybody says, well, nobody's going to see your tweets. Well, I don't want just anybody in my group either. So I personally am more exclusive, and that's going to be a personal choice. You can make it private. But if in your description, let me make sure we can get out of here. Ah, no. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I always do that. How do you possibly recognize who the people are? How do you determine who you're going to allow this? I look through the. I, I, read, I read in their description. I read their description. If I feel they're safe, they're safe. Okay. It, it's really a, a question of intuitive. Mm -hmm. Intuition. Cool. Oh, you're going to see that usually you can put your link. That's why I'm going live with this. So give me one second so I can show you. Facebook, because we don't have much. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now we're going to talk, and I'm going to take a lot of questions because that's, that's what I want to answer questions in this section. A lot of confusion happens. Let's wait for this to upload. Um, okay, so let's start. Quick explanation, Facebook. That's a place to start.
start, that's the place to be. I don't care who doesn't like it, that's just the bottom line. You know, everybody is on Facebook. Most people are on Facebook, and they spend one to two hours in that environment. Okay, that's why Facebook ads are so powerful right now, better than even Google ads. Because if you think about it, you go to Google and you research something and you see ads, first of all, 14% of people only trust the ads now, okay? And they're, they're going to look for the organic results first before looking at the ads. Second of all, you stay 10 seconds and you're clicking on the link, you're out. You don't, you're not looking at the ads versus Facebook ads. They're very powerful because you're two hours on Facebook and you continue to get this ads. And it's two kinds of stories and we're going to talk about that at the class. It's just too much to cover today, but yes. Yeah, I know it's not. I'm not going to be able to show you what I wanted. This is not working. Time me out. Okay, so I'm going to take questions here because it's very confusing. So let's start with you. I know you have questions about social media. Oh, I don't get Twitter. You don't get Twitter. Yeah. I, I, I just, Twitter, so Twitter is shout outs. Think about it, shout outs. Um, you, you're an article writer. That's the heaviest thing. First of all, let me be very clear about something. That's still 28 minutes. Let me be very clear about the time, about something. If you guys don't have friends, if you guys don't have followers, if you, I don't care how much content you create, you don't have an audience. <laughs> okay? So start by that. You start at the beginning, and your main focus is not how much it works, it's about you connecting. That's why if you have a business card, you gotta put your links. So find you on Facebook because you're going to continue the conversations online. And that's pretty much, and they do work different. So let's talk about Twitter a little bit. Twitter, it's 160 characters that you can write on the box. Does, is everybody familiar with Twitter here? I think it's 140, 140 characters. Uh, sorry, yes, 140. I'm thinking about the description. 140, <laughs> thank you. So it's everybody familiar with Twitter. Okay, the ones that are not going and experiment with it, and if not, we'll talk about more in the class, okay? Now, these are, imagine like micro-blogging, like a shout-out. And your shout-out, you don't want it to be of even 140 characters, you want it to be of 120. Because when you retweet, do you know what a retweet is? No, when somebody, shares. Like in Facebook, a retweet is like, oh, my friend said this, I'm going to share it with you. So it's like passing it forward, a retweet, to all their friends if they like it. Um, so what do you write about? Tell me, what was your last article about? Okay, so let's say that you have an article and do you use, um, on Twitter, you have to make your, your, um, Links Thank you. <laughs> Why am I so stuck right now? I need water. I'm like hydrated right now. <laughs> That's what it is. The brain is not functioning. <laughs> no, no. You guys all have to forgive me. I get stuck sometimes because a year ago, a year and one month ago, I had a mini stroke. Mm. So sometimes I get like, oh. <laughs> Okay. So thank you yeah. for the help. It helps. <laughs> so the links, you've got to make them shorter. Everybody write this down. Bitly. Bitly. Yeah, B I T L Y. You go to Bitly and you can take any URL, insert it, and it makes it short. Now, what's the cool thing about that? One, you get a QR code. And I don't have time to talk about QR codes. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you guys don't know what the QR code is, go to.